if we see cancer cells that are from the tumor in the blood vessels or lymphatics in the normal tissue of the breast, that's called positive lymphovascular invasion or positive angiolymphatic invasion. There's also the possibility you might see extensive lymphovascular invasion or extensive LVI. And that's a whole different, it's sort of a different dose of angiolymphatic invasion. What does this mean? What it means is that those cells in the tumor have access to the normal lymphatics and blood vessels. And there is a slightly higher likelihood that those cancer cells can access other parts of the body. The biggest implication it has, however, is it indicates a higher risk of local and regional recurrence in the breast and in the lymph nodes. Its role in systemic disease is recently showing to be uh, the case, but is often drowned out by other characteristics, which I'll talk about in just a moment. But the biggest implication is if there's lymphovascular invasion, angiolymphatic invasion, in the breast tissue, that and if you're borderline for radiation therapy, then we're going to lean more towards radiation therapy in people who have lymphovascular invasion as opposed to omitting it. 